Well, I expect that the winds tomorrow are going to pick up, and that's going to create some high wave action. So the National Weather Service went ahead with a beach hazard statement for the daytime hours tomorrow because we will probably see those, those waves building four to six feet around the shoreline areas, and that could create some dangerous rip currents um, and also lakefront conditions, too. And, you know, that could pull in some cloud cover and also a few scattered sprinkles of rain. Well, right now we have 77 degrees. Some spots, though, are dropping into the 60s. Winds are calm for the moment, but we have 62 degrees in Gary, 66 in Waukegan, 63 in Valparaiso, and in Morris, you are at 65. So a couple of clouds and showers over the lake, some to the south of us. The ones to the south, those are moving away from us. I'll put them into motion so you can see here. There's actually low pressure over the central part of the state, and that's kind of dragging the rain southward. So we're going to watch this system depart as we move through the night. And as that happens, then it starts opening the door for this ridge of high pressure to send us those winds out of the northeast first and then becoming northerly. That's what's going to generate the high wave action that we expect during the day tomorrow. So tomorrow about 78 degrees for the high temperature and when we look at our wave tracker at midnight when that beach hazard statement goes into effect we have about a one foot wave but then when we get closer to daybreak see that area of green that's your two to five foot wave action really on the Illinois side because of the northeast winds. Then the winds swing around more to the north in the afternoon affecting Indiana and finally southwest lower Michigan late in the day and into the evening hours. So rip currents are likely during the day tomorrow. In fact, this goes in effect at midnight all the way through 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So that also could give us some extra cloud cover too and maybe a sprinkle of rain there right at the noon hour and then we'll start to see some clearing as we get into the middle of the week once that ridge of high pressure gets closer to us and those winds can die down and that's going to clear things out for us. So tomorrow's the coolest day of the next seven with 78 degrees. Then a beautiful trend of weather starting on Wednesday. And Brad and Eric, I put a tiny chance of rain in there on the weekend for a stray shower or storm, mainly for late day Saturday and into Sunday. Thank you, Mary Kay.